Chapter 14 Undyne Submerged There was no place to sit on the armed sub submersible Tiamat, but looks like Gera found a place to stand. That all coming after an attack at High Ferus. A general and an army admiral decided to use the mercantile high for supplies and munition, but got attacked by an orc bomber that carried great bombs and tiny planes around it, destroying everything in their path only leaving the submersible alive because it was in the water. The Lux got lucky. She was quickly invited on the Tiamat to be promoted to captain before things went away. The vessel submerged when all the vessels of the planet were destroyed by orcs. She wanted to tell her crew and her lover of her new promotion, but they were gone. She was called on the Voxcom, but she couldn't move, the sadness overtaking her. She regained her composure a little later on, her mind going numb, but still going to the conning tower, her legs guiding her. People were running around the tower trying not to think of their destroyed world. The governor was there, looking less like a noble and more like a responsible man. A hololith showed the world was devastated. Many hives have been destroyed with the exception of three or four. The admiral and general, hiding their feelings with a veil of professionalism, looked at the hololith. The admiral acknowledged her, but the general didn't. The general knew she was aware about the hopelessness of, this, of their situation. Some discussions are made and asking about aid from uh, excuse me, about asking for aid from neighboring worlds and the Black Templars close by. But there was this hope the Templars should be enough to stop the orcs, that they would be what the, un, the, yeah, the water planet needed. But if they didn't, there was a contingency plan on place. On a, small, on a small island named Desolation Point, a pirate haven, there were planetary destruction weapons. Virus bombs. The plan was to deny the orcs the planet. Suddenly, Lux's lover didn't seem so distant. Of course, this was, a conting this was only a contingency should the Templars not arrive. Lux agreed with the mission, and she was presented Commander Tyrone, who would help her detonate the bombs.